I'm Aiden. And I'm Jeremy. And today we are honored to have on University of Nevada defensive tackle Dom Peterson on the podcast. Say what's up, Dom. What's up? What's up, everybody? What's going on? What you been doing during quarantine? Uh, just getting in a little bit of work as much as I can. We have like little weights and stuff in the backyard, so I do what we can. And then now the stadium's opened up, so we've been running, kind of just getting our legs back. Uh, that's great. Obviously, you're on the West Coast, so how is it like opened up over there? Uh, it's just starting to open up now. Uh, we're in like phase two, so like little places are starting to open up, like restaurants and like. The school is not open yet, but the stadium kind of leaves the gate open for us to just go in there. And, like, you know, you follow the rules of, like, staying six feet apart and all that stuff. But, like, I'm just happy to see that we're moving into a different phase where now we're starting to be able to come outside and, you know, get out the house. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Is your, like, arrival back on campus, like, been affected by the coronavirus? You said it's my arrival on campus? Like, you, like getting back on campus um, been affected by, like, the date that you're supposed to get back. Oh, yeah, it, it affected that for sure, you know. Um, we had a lot planned for this year, and this, this corona's kind of been messing it up. But we're trying to make the best out of it, you know. Uh, our Zoom meetings, we were just practicing, doing our steps on camera in front of our coaches. Like, you know, we're trying to do little things and not just sit around all day. Yeah, that's great. So uh, let's dive into the questions. Uh, you're going into your junior year. So why did you pick Nevada as your college to go to? Well, when I transferred to Narbonne, I got a few other offers, but they were kind of like shallow. Um, a couple schools wanted me to like either blue shirt or gray shirt. And if you're a young kid coming out of high school, that's not what you want to hear or want to do. You want a full scholarship. And then I had an offer from Syracuse, and but that was all the way to New York, super far away from my family. I didn't want to do that to them. So Nevada was just the perfect choice at the end of it all because, you know, it was close to home. Like, my fam was able to come and see a couple games, and, you know, and they weren't trying to blue shirt me or any of that stuff. How far away is Nevada from uh, L.A.? Eight hours. You go four hours up north, and then you go four hours to the right. So it's not too bad. Yeah, it's, it's not bad at all compared to p- airplane trips to New York and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, who who was your, like, what school was your first offer? Uh, my first offer was Syracuse. That's why I bring them up so, like, vividly right now. That was my first offer was the University of Syracuse. Nice. And what would you say is the biggest thing that you need to work on to take that next step to the NFL? Uh, if I had to choose, it would be my consistency. Um, I feel like my freshman year, I've proved that I could play run. And then this, this last year, I proved that I could also go after the pass rusher. Uh, now at this point, it's just about consistency. You know, I did all that at a young age, you know, so now it's my junior, senior year. They're expecting big things. So at this point, all I'm really focusing on is being consistent for my team. Oh yeah, consistency is huge, and obviously you had a uh, you had a great sophomore season. Uh, I think you had nine sacks, uh, two forced fumbles. Uh, you had a great season. We hope you improve on that going into your junior year. So speaking about last year, what was the feeling like winning uh, the team outstanding defensive player award and also being honored as uh, first team All Mountain West? Oh, it was it was an honor, you know. Uh, it was a humbling experience. I was happy to know that uh, all my hard work was finally getting paid off, you know, it was finally being seen. Uh, coach Ship, he's such a great coach. He pushes me the hardest. And it was certain times where I just didn't understand why he would be on me so hard and why he was on me so tough. And then as the season came around, all that hard work kind of was just, it was easy for me to do it in the game. And then just all I could think about is all that yelling that he would do and making me restart drills and stuff. You know, it's an honor to have guys also next to you that work just as hard and or work probably harder than you, you know, because then it makes me look bad on film if I'm not working hard. So, you know, I feel like those awards I got were like a team award, in my opinion. You know, without the D-line being pushed as hard and working as hard, I don't think I would have gotten that defensive player of the year or first team all Mountain West, you know, because we all just push each other. So I felt like, in my opinion, it was a team award. Yeah. So, 
when you were growing up, did you play any other sports other than football? Yeah, I, was, I actually thought I was going to get taller. I was trying to be a basketball phenom. Like in middle school, I was about 5'8". So I was good size for middle school, and I was good at basketball. Like I played basketball yeah. in high school. Well, um, what's your best skill set on the basketball court? Uh, I could do it all. Uh, I'm a, I could dribble. You know, I can't really shoot that good, but I play defense, obviously, because I love yeah. being on the defensive side. I could dribble. I was a big, so, you know, I was doing the regular, like, pick and rolls from there, and then, like, if I got the high-low or, like, if I got it in the post, I'd be able to make something happen, but that was pretty much my game. Yeah, uh, obviously, we're not on the same level as you, but I feel like every athlete plays a lot of sports. A lot of people that we've had on in the past, so... That, yeah. One for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So getting back to uh, football, obviously, um, what is your biggest goal going into your junior year this year? Mm. My biggest goal, honestly, like I said earlier, is just to be consistent. Now, like you know, everyone's kind of looking my way now for this year. They they've seen me elevate as far as like the numbers over the two years that I played. So now it's just about like can I keep going or, like, am I just a one-hit wonder? You know what I'm saying? That's all that runs through my head because I just know I have so much higher expectations now. So my goal, honestly, is just to, you know, if I had to say numbers, is, like, double-digit sacks and double-digit TFLs. That's my goal for this junior year season, just to put it all together now. Yeah, definitely. How, how much more do you think you can improve on, like, how many more sacks do you think you can get? Uh, I think I could get... I for sure should have got double digit sacks this season, but just like I said, like my consistency, I need to get better at that. And that just comes with like, you know, working harder, eating better, little things like that, that could have had me like not as tired or like not messing up as much. But like, I for sure could have had a double digit season this year. Yeah. So, so and, uh, granted, I missed the game too. I missed uh, the Wyoming game. Yeah. So, since since your dad played football, how much did he impact you growing up until now? Uh, he he has taught me everything I know. Uh, when I was a little kid, I was already being taught college like things. Like he was already when I was young, I was playing linebacker because that's what he played, and he was already teaching me how to like don't look in the backfield. Like the five old linemen up front will tell you where the play is going. Like. He was having me run through trash bags, like big old trash bins as tackling dummies. You know what I'm saying? Like, he instilled all of this stuff, everything that I do now, running sideline to sideline. He instilled all that into me at a young age. So I was doing all this at a young, young age. So I feel like without him, I wouldn't have been as, like, high elevated in football than where I am now. And, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a crazy story. And um, I'm assuming ever since you were born, your dad probably wanted you to play football. Yeah, see, he's always wanted me to play football and uh, any type of sport, honestly. When I was young, I was playing everything like baseball, basketball. So he just wanted me to play sports, period. He just wanted you to be an athlete. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of great uh, defensive linemen in the NFL. So who would you compare yourself to skill-wise to somebody in the NFL today? <laughs> if I had to choose, I, I would choose my guy Aaron Donald, you know, just as far as, like, the six-foot, uh, you know, his pad level. Uh, he he kind of plays like me in the way he uses his height to his advantage. Because most o linemen he's going across is, like, 6'5", six, 6'8". Six, you know, so he's already had natural leverage. And, you know, he just has a, an axe for the ball. He just knows where the ball is going to be. You know, I feel like that's where I'm, I'm good at, too, my IQ. And that just comes with, like, watching film and seeing it a bunch of times to where, like, you know where the play is going. I feel like that's my comparison. Are, are you a Rams fan? Uh, no, I'm not a Rams fan. I'm an Eagles fan. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you an Eagles fan? Uh, Because... I didn't know you were supposed to have a team to, like, go for. So, like, at the time, Madden 05 was out, and that's when Donovan McNabb was on the cover. And they was, like, the best team in there. So I was kind of like, okay, this might be the team that I'm going to like. <laughs> and then after that, they got Michael Vick and stuff. They started getting some guys. So I was like, okay, like, yeah, I'm going to stay with this team. Like, this is this is the team I'm going to like. <laughs> yeah. 
So what what would you say has been like the highlight of your career so far? Uh, as far as like a game or as far as like what like I've done. as far as like an award or like a play like well, a certain play well, my favorite play is um the Ohio game in the bowl game that sack that I got against yeah I like that play um also yeah the first uh, first team all Mountain West I was like a big thing for me that's I think that's what was the eye opener for most people people started noticing like okay, like, Nevada's got some guys over there, you know what I mean? Like, I think that was a big deal for me. I, I enjoyed getting that award. Yeah, a lot of great accomplishments, and I've had a lot more great plays to come, um, mm-hmm. especially going into the season. Uh, what would you say is your best skill on the field? Um, truthfully, it's my IQ. Um, I don't think I would be in college football without it because anybody can find a six-foot guy that could, like, I'm not really the fastest, you know, I'm not really the biggest, but I just feel like my IQ for the game has gotten me so farther than most people that that's like my best trait. If I didn't have that, I probably wouldn't be in the Nevada. Yeah, definitely. IQ plays in every sport. Uh, I feel like every player uh, that wants to go on to the next level needs a great IQ. And uh, it's great that you have a great IQ at such already a sophomore in college. But they're definitely going to need it for the NFL. Yes, definitely. It's it's yeah. so it's already so many people that's like they're big and like you gotta you gotta kind of just put them in the right spot for them to make a play. For me, I could actually I know where the play wants to go based off how flat the lineman is like stepping or like how far up the field he's going. Like little things like that, I kind of can read the play from where I'm at and then be able to sniff it out. Yeah, so I was just talking about the NFL. Um, you're a sophomore in college. Is there any consideration that maybe after your junior season you go to the NFL or do you want to stay all four years, graduate? Like maybe, I don't know, I've had a couple people on. Their parents have said they want them to stay all four years. Like what's the situation with you? Yeah, um, I've had a few family members that want me to stay and get my uh, degree, but – You know, I told him, I said, if I have a good junior year season like how I did last year, uh, you know, I'm going for the money. I'm going to get the money and (laughs) I'm out. But if, let's say, like, they say it's better for me to stay another season because I can get higher, a higher round draft pick, then that's for sure what I'll do. And then I'll be able to finish my, my degree while I'm doing that as well. Yeah, it's always good to get your degree. But, I mean, if you have a chance to play in the NFL, then. Yeah, like. You know, I could always come back and get yeah. my degree online. Like, come, this is a one-in-a-lifetime thing. Yeah, so what would you like people to know about Dom Peterson that they might not know already? <laughs> well, you know, I'm a high-motor guy. Like, you know, on the field, I'm really a high-motor guy. I love yelling and getting in people's faces and getting aggressive. But, like, off the field, I'm kind of – I'm kind of a cool dude to be around. I'm a homebody. You know, I don't really like being outside. Like, I like going outside, obviously, but I'm saying, like, as far as, like, being out and doing stuff, and, you know what I mean? I would rather be home and just chilling with the fam or just, you know, chilling with my roommates and my new dog that I just got. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm a video game person. I like video games. That's pretty. People probably don't know that. Yeah, what games you play? Uh, I play Madden, 2K, uh, Call of Duty. Uh, I was playing Fortnite for a little bit, but I got tired of that, all that building. Yeah, I, I don't uh, like Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, like, it was cool when it was trending, but now it's like, yeah, no, I don't play that. And uh, I got Red Dead Redemption. I got all types of games. Like, uh, Yeah, would you say you have, like, a favorite hobby at home? Um... Mm. Or is it just really like just chilling with the fan outside? Yeah, I really, yeah. If I had to choose a hobby, I guess it'd be like, yeah, video games at the most. Like, I really don't have hobbies. Like, I really don't. Mm-hmm. I don't. <laughs> Family and football. Yeah, you know, like, that's all that's been instilled in me for so long. Like, so it's like, I really don't be branching out and trying other things because this has been like. Plan A and Plan B, like school football. <laughs> I, I get it. I get it. Especially with your dad um, 
being in the NFL, like, just crazy. Got to work out for the Cowboys, my favorite team, actually, so. You be a No, but that's going to wrap it up for today. Dom, we want to thank you for coming on. means a lot. Uh, no problem. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. Uh, we hope to see you succeed this year. Can't wait to watch you and hope you get to that next level in the NFL. Um, that's it for today. Like I just said, um, if you're on YouTube, go like and subscribe. If you're on Spotify, go follow and start watching our Apple podcasts. It's at the Sports Prodigies. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Everybody have a great day. Uh, signing off with your host, I'm Aiden. And I'm Jeremy. Peace out, everybody.